Hello kids. I hope you all are having a great time with your family. I'm very happy to tell you all that finally it's time to enter grade 4. Yes, you'll be having new books, new friends, new teachers, new class. Excited, aren't you? But the need of the hour is social distancing. which means we won't be able to meet in school for next few days but till then we'll teach you online through videos ready now today i'm going to teach you mathematics lesson 1 numbers come on let's start you already know counting up to four digit numbers right so let's revise some of the parts do you remember Which is the smallest two digit number? Come on, think and let me know. Correct. It's 1010. Very good. Now, smallest three digit number? It's easy to say, right? 100. Smallest four digit number? Yeah. One zero 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 thousand. Good. You remember the things well. Now, let's move forward. Do you remember the largest two-digit number? Think about it. Yes, nine nine ninety nine. Great. Now largest three digit number will be very easy to guess. 999. And similarly, largest four digit number will be 9999. Perfect. Now what happens when we add 1 to 9999? We get ten thousand and a new column for ten thousand. Okay, see, ten thousand is a five-digit number. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, and ten thousand. Okay, easy, right? After this, you already know that the biggest five-digit number is. Ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. When we add one to it, it gives us one lakh. Yes, a six-digit number and a new column of lakhs. L. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, and lakh. The spelling of lakh is L A K H, lakh. Okay. Now I hope you have noticed the commas. We put a comma to separate hundreds and thousands column. Okay. So one stands hundred comma. Thousand, ten thousand, comma, and then lakh. These commas help us to read the numbers easily. Okay. Now let's have a look at some of the examples of five and six-digit numbers. It becomes easy for us if we write the periods that is one ten hundred, thousand, ten thousand, or even lakh. on the top of a number okay it labels the number and it becomes easy for us to read it okay let's begin under the thousands column we have 32 so i have written 32000 under hundreds and tens column we have zeros so nothing for them And directly eight, which makes it thirty-two thousand eight. Easy. 
Let's try the other one. Under thousands column we have 60. So I have written 60,000. Under hundreds column we have 1. So I have clearly written 100. Under tens column we have 2. So I have written 20. And then 5. The number becomes 60,125. Easy? Now let's try it with 6 digit numbers. Under lakhs column we have 1 which makes it 1 lakh. Under thousands column we have 19. So I have written 19,000. Under hundreds we have 2 which makes it 200. And 5050. So the number becomes 1 lakh 19,000. 250. Easy, right? Now let's have a look at the last one. Under lakhs column, we have 3, because of which I have written 3 lakh. Under thousands column, we have 0, 0. So nothing for thousands. Under hundreds column, I have written 400. Tens column, we have 60. And for ones, I have written 9, which makes it 3,469. Easy, right? So now I think you can try on your own. All the best. After learning how to write the number of names, we are going to do just the opposite of it. Now we are going to write in standard form. As I told you, it becomes easy for us if we write the periods that is one stands hundred, thousand, ten thousand and lakh on the top of the number. Okay? So over here we have 56,000 which means nothing for lakhs column. For thousands, 56. Then we have 700. So under hundreds we'll write 7. And then we have 26. 26. 26. So 56,726. Easy to write, isn't it? Let's try one more. 1 lakh. So under lakhs we'll write 1. 54,000. So here we'll write 54. 300. So here we'll go for 3. And 9090. Easy? Cool. Now, the last one. 8 lakh. So, under lakhs we will write 8. 2000. Uh oh. So, under 10,000 we have to write 0. And then, under thousands we have to write 2. Got it? Great. Then, 400. Which means, under 100 we will write 4. 69. Easy. Right? Now, do on your own. All the best. Hey, so now it's pretty easy for you to read and write 5 and 6 digit numbers. Right? Great. Now, before we move further, I want you to know something new. Yes? Ready? Now I am going to tell you about two types of place value system. Mm, confused? Let's learn. The two types of place value system are Hindu Arabic and International. In Hindu Arabic place value system, the ones column is divided into three parts. Ones, tens and hundred, which we already know. The thousands column is divided into two parts, thousand and ten thousand. And then we get the lakhs column. We just learned this recently, right? Whereas in international place value system, the ones column remains the same, one stands hundred. But the thousands column gets divided into three parts, thousand. Ten thousands and hundred thousands. We don't have 
lakhs column in international place value system. Okay? Let me explain this to you with the help of an example. Let us consider a six digit number 362502. According to Hindu Arabic number system, we will divide this in three columns. One stands hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and lakh. Okay? So the number will be called three lakh sixty two thousand five hundred two according to Hindu Arabic number system. But according to the international number system, we'll divide the number in two columns. One stands hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. Okay? So the number will be called 362,502. I'll repeat. 362,502. The comma system for international number system will be 1, 2, 3, comma and then the other three numbers. The first three one stands hundred and then the thousands column. Clear? Students, in India, people generally used Hindu Arabic number system. But if we talk about international level or if you have visited any foreign country, people there will use international number system. So for us, both the number systems are very important. So it's important to learn both of them. I am giving you some exercise. Please solve it and practice. Okay? Our next heading is write in expanded form. Expanded form of a given number is nothing but the addition of place value of each digit. We'll write and you'll get to know. Okay? As I always say, it becomes easy when we write the periodics on the top. Okay? So, 1 stands 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh. We'll write the place value of 3, which is 3 lakh. Okay? Don't forget the commas. It helps you to write correctly. Then we'll put one addition sign. Okay? After that, we'll write the place value of next digit, which is 40,000. Then, 2,000. Then, 200. Then, 30. And in the end, we'll write 9. Always remember, between the place value of two digits, we have to put one addition sign. Okay, so 3 lakhs plus 40,000 plus 2,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 9 makes it 3 lakh 42,239. Easy, right? Let me give you one more example. Write the periodics on the top. The place value of 5 is 5. Lack. Okay. Plus 10,000 gives us 0. So we don't need to mention it over here. We'll directly go to the thousands column. 8,000 plus 200 plus 50 plus 2. Easy, isn't it? So, can you try the remaining two on your own? Let me see if you can do it or not. Now, we are going to do the opposite of what we just did. We have been given the expanded form of numbers. We have to write the standard form now. I always tell you, it's better to write the periodics first. One stands hundred. 
10,000 and lakh. Right? Now let's start writing the number. We have the first number is 60,000. So under 10,000s we'll write 6. Then 2 under the thousands as the next number is 2,000. Under hundreds we'll write 8. Under tens we'll write 2. As we have nothing to write under ones, we'll write a zero. Okay? So the number which we got is 62,820. Easy? Let's try one more. Of course, we'll write the periodics first. Now, the first number which we have is 1 lakh. So, we'll write 1 under the lakhs column. Then, we have 20,000. So, under 10,000, we'll write 2. 7,000. So, under 1,000, we'll write 7. 600. So, under 100, will be 6. 30 and 5. Easy? The number which we got is... 1,27,635. Great. Now, you are going to help me with this one. You tell me. What is the first step? Aha. Uh -huh. Write the periodics first. 1 stands 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh. Great. Second step. The number says 9 lakh. So, under lakh column, we'll write 9. Then 80,000. So, under 10,000 column, we'll write 8. We have nothing for thousands column. So, we'll write 0. Then under hundreds, we'll write 3, 2, 1. So, the number which we got is 9,80,321. Easy? Great going. But the next one is a little tricky. Ready for it? Here I have jumbled the values. Yes. So you have to be very careful. The first step, write the periodics. Great. Now, I have only 5. Only 5 goes under 1's. Exactly. Then I have 300. So it goes under the column of hundreds. Then I have 40 which goes under the column of tens. Then I have 50,000. It goes under the column of 10,000. 6 lakhs under 6. I mean under lakhs. And then 3,000 which will go under the column of thousands. So the number which we obtain is 6,53,345 I hope you understood the exercise properly. Enjoy learning!